the Amazon jungle where no one fear to tread. In comes Kenji the Destroyer. <laughs> Welcome back to Downright Gaming and today we're playing Kenshi. Now this is our one man army and now if you are new to this series or you haven't watched the last series, uh, well we had to start again with our one man army. So basically, one man fights all. And so while you guys were away since the last episode, I've done a few things to help speed up this, um, let me run it anyway, oh he's in the bed, to help speed it up a little bit. Now he was in, I think he was in the bed at the end. But what I figured uh, is that trading is going to be the way. Now, since I have worked, I've been doing a lot of things. I actually got into a nice little scuffle, um, got a helmet, got some chess, uh, got a few things. And I know you guys are like, well, I would have liked to have seen that. Sorry, just trying to progress a little bit more. But, you know, I'm sure we'll have just as much fun, <laughs> hopefully. i am basically got a few stats, which I'll have a look at when we get, oh, we're speeding up too fast. We're just lying in the bed basically because we got smashed. Um, I ran in with a group of hungry bandits following me um, and so I decided, hey, let's uh, let's let them uh, have a bit of fun. So we did and they um, basically got slaughtered by all the guards. Now I'm not sure if anyone knows but from as far as I'm concerned they've stopped or something they've stopped or are they not fighting each other, there's no faction kind of... So if you know, well, while we're waiting here, I'll explain it all. So we have our toughness is at 2, our strength actually went, uh, sorry, strength is at 2, our toughness is at 18. Now if you guys have never played this game before, because there are probably a few of you out there, uh, this game is basically a squad RPG game. So, you know, and I'm just playing as one guy, which you can play as many guys. You can have, I think, I think the most you can have is I think 20, but I think that's been updated since I last had that. Um, who knows? I think it's a bit buggy when you go over that. Um, now, what I want to talk about today is I got a bit of a, a bit of a, a bit of a questionnaire, I guess. So, what would you? Now, this is totally different, but I thought I might throw it in there while I'm running back and forth and trading because that's just what I got to do. What do you guys think? Which movie do I watch first, the Hobbit series or the Lord of the Rings? Now, I'm someone who's seen the Lord of the Rings and all the Hobbits, so it's not. It's not really for me, but I was questioning this. Now that the new series is out, now why is this all so laggy? Uh, maybe it's the new update. I think there's a new update, I have a feeling. So hopefully this isn't too bad. But, here we go, we're going to go into here. See what we've got. So we've been trading back and forth. Now, the problem I've realised is they actually steal everything off you. And I didn't explain that last episode and I died and I had no idea what was going on. So I really just want to um, not, I don't want to grab everything and lose my money. The only thing they can't steal is your money at this point in time. So we want to grab um, a few of these. We really just, we don't want to have any kind of like armor, backpacks and stuff. We just really want to, this stuff I know sells quite well over at the, uh, over at the, the trading post just over yonder. So I'm going to run it out there. Anyways, guys, so as a new person, or someone who wants to know which to watch, do you watch the Lord of the Rings series, which came out first, as you probably know, or the prequel, The Hobbit, which sets up, I guess, the, the, the coming to the Lord of the Rings series. The, all the characters also get a bit set up as well. Now, in my personal opinion, um, which I want you guys to tell me what you guys think, but in my personal opinion, it depends whether you have watched the Lord of the Rings or you haven't yet. So if you're someone who's going, oh, I don't know what to watch, what do I watch first? Or if I've seen them all, but I want to know, should I watch, I want to watch them in proper order. Now, it seems pretty obvious. You think, oh, watch The Hobbit first. But if you haven't seen it, if you have not seen any of these, the Lord of the Rings series, I think you get a little left out, a little left out of the, the, the jokes, which means that you have to re-watch it again. So I think, you know, you need, you really need to watch the Lord of the Rings series first if you have never watched either of them. If you have, don't even know what it's about, if you if you were, like, too young to watch them when they were out and you'd kind of just gotten old enough, um, or if you're just someone who's just never heard of Lord of the Rings or whatever, it's it's a tough thing because now they've got The Hobbit out. But I think that's that's kind of my theory, is that you should have, should have The Hobbit second, um, but in saying that, if you're someone like me who's watched all the extended editions of Lord of the Rings, I've watched all the Hobbit, I'm going to be watching all the extended editions, is to watch the extended editions, well, sorry, to watch the Hobbit first. Because, 
you know, it's that's the story. If you know everything about it, and you really just want to watch it again, if you're obsessed with it like me, it's probably one of my favourite movie series and franchises. I don't know, The Hobbit kind of let me down a little bit, but, you know, whatever. I, everyone thinks, hey, it was a great movie, but, you know, you know, that's just... Anyways, guys, what do you think about that? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Because I really want to know. Now, here, I've got these guys, like, bugged out here, so they're going to yell attack at me, but they're not going to attack me, so... Don't worry. Now, I'm just annoyed that it's actually lagging out a little bit, so I'm going to have to fix that in the next episode, hopefully. I hope it's not the update that's screwed around, because the last episode was actually fine. So, as I said, our stats, if you want to have another look at them without pausing it or whatever, there's the athletics, which is going up nice and fine. Our melee defense is coming in really hot. I love it. Our toughness, obviously great. Strength, I'm going to try to smash that out a little bit by, uh, I wonder if we can still do our bug where we lift up the backpacks. We'll have to see, but I really don't want to get caught at the moment, so I'm not going to do it anytime soon. Ooh, what's that? I really want to make it so you can go under there eventually. Hmm, that's different. Uh, we have our... In terms of my stuff, I got a nice helmet, so I'm pretty overweight, um, which is why my strength's going up, by the way, because it's all overweight. Now, this guy's bugged in this thing as well. I might have to import all this across. Now, as you can see here, see how it says 100? I can't actually click on it. But it says now 113%, so that's going to make me some profit. Uh, which, you know, this is how I'm working off it, is uh, how much percent there are. I'm not so worried about the number. I'm just, I'm buying stuff in the green, selling it in the red, basically, is what you want to try to do. It makes me, it, like, come on, you got to know perfect, it's perfect sense, like, anyway, but whatever. Um, I might, might buy these building materials, not because I want to build anything, but and I know you can buy houses. Um if I'm correct. <laughs> I don't know. I buy medic packs too. Um, yeah, you can buy houses. I'm not sure if it's implemented yet. You, Sorry, you. let me correct that. You will be able to buy houses, but whether it's implemented yet, I'm not sure. So this is basically how I've been spending my days, and I may actually spend my days just getting up to about, you know, 10 grand before I make my next episode running up and back. It's it's very monotonous. Now, if you're a, a Kenji fan, you're going to love this like I am. I'm loving it. And I'm loving the kind of, you know, you've got to watch out for bandits when they come along. Um, and they're going to just smash you if you really just don't, if you don't <laughs> watch out. You've got to really have your training up. And this is what's good. I'm getting my athletics up so I'll be able to run away from a battle. I am now getting my strength up because I have some decent gear. Well, decent so much. I had to buy a sword. So anyway, if I do get, if I do want to go out and train with 10 grand, I'll be able to run out there, lose all my gear um, that I currently have, and probably get it back again. So by buying it back again, or something decent back again, and it may have been worth it at the time. I know that I do get medicked up at the town guards, otherwise I have to fight for my life, and if I'm not sure, but they might take my med pack, I always go the wrong way, but this is the way to go. So I'm not sure, guys, but that's what I'm going to be trying to do. Um, this is a bit of a short episode, I guess, but I am running up and down, and this is just kind of, if you guys want to know what's happening in the meantime, where I'm still going to get to, I'm going to try to get to Clown Steady, but I do want to get to Brink, first of all. I want to see what's at Brink. It, you guys, if you haven't watched the last episode, um, Clown Steady was where I really set my home base down at, because uh, it was just it was just heaps easier, because there's lots of bandits, the guards protected you, they got slaughtered half the time, so you actually, they didn't come out in full force and destroy them like in some other places, like in Brink. The guards were just insane there. But in Clown City, there was lots of guys, so the guards had to be pretty wary, and, and all the townsfolk came running out and helped them. But I'm wondering if that still counts. I've got to do a lot of experimenting, and I'll be doing that with you guys. So what I'm going to be doing is basically running up and back, which is really all I've done today. Um, but I hope that question of The Hobbit or The Lord of the Rings, which first? It's kind of, it's like watching, it's a Star Wars, the age-old age old Star Wars question. Which one do you watch first? Do you watch, do you watch for number four, which was originally intended to be like that, that was the first one? But was it, I have a feeling Star Wars, and this is from a little bit of, uh, I guess, knowledge of being told, I haven't really researched this, but he actually made Star Wars, and I'm not a Star Wars fanatic, but... And I know there's going to be people out there that are going to criticise me here, but Star Wars, he made number four because he thought that, if I'm correct, the technology would come along further, and that one, two, and three are better done with better technology. I don't know, I think that was it, and that's why he started at four, or he could have just started at four because he loved it, but who knows? 
who knows, he thought that that was probably a better idea, but like, or maybe he thought, I don't know, actually now that I'm thinking about it, why did he call it Star Wars? I, I'm sure it's just an easy Google answer, but oh, if you're someone who loves Star Wars out there and I just butchered the reason why number four came out first and whatever. But anyway, it's the age-old question, what comes first, the chicken or the egg? <laughs> I don't... Oh well. Guys, thank you for watching. We're gonna let oh we're gonna make some nice decent cash here. We're sitting at two thousand three hundred well yeah, no, I said it right. I thought I was being a bit retarded. Okay. Two thousand three hundred and thirty it's sixty six coin cat, I think they called. I, don't, I never know. I never know. I'm gonna just be grabbing stuff. I might actually save and try to take this across because I know that's gonna be some decent cash. Um and I don't know how much, because it's 10%, I guess, or whatever percent. And anyways, guys, if you did like this video at any point, please slap that like, and I will see you in the next video. And when we get back to Kenshi Part 2, and I s promise in the next video, we will definitely, well, this will be Part 3 next time, but I will definitely, 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 definitely be running somewhere. More important, so we can see our countryside. And if you have a question you want me to address on the Kenshi One Man Army, and if you think that was alright to answer some questions, you know, let me know. Tell me what you think about it. Did you want, did you like questions? I don't know. I'm trying to work things out. Anyways, guys, see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Hey, guys, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you thumbs up, like that, and share it. If you want to check out my 100 subs video, thanks, everyone, for that. That's on the left. On the right, there's a random video for your pleasure.